Welcome back to my playthrough of Fallout London. I'm Mental Fox, and I thank you for joining me again. Let's take a look at our quest list and see what we're doing. We have three quests here. Uh, I think I'm going to focus on this one called Swan and Mitre. Unfortunately, there's no text for this one here, so we just kind of have to remember what's going on. Travel to Swan and Mitre. Well, why are we going to Swan and Mitre? Well, at the end of the last episode, we get old Tricky Ricky here. He was hurting pretty bad. And we ran over to the train station and got a health kit for him and brought it back to him. And then he needed a doctor and we tried to help him out. Uh, but we made things worse and now he's dead. But before he died, we asked him where the rest of the vagabonds went. And he said they went to the Swan and Mitre. So that's why we're supposed to go there. We're just going to go ahead and focus on that quest for now rather than the other ones. Because we're kind of lost out here. You know, we were in that lab and these are the only people we've encountered thus far and you know strength and numbers and all that we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't catch up with them so we're supposed to go in that direction but it appears as though this is a dead end and plus i kind of Kind of want to see if I can't, like, follow the roads or the sidewalks or whatever, because that's always kind of fun. So let's see if we can get there by following the roads, <laughs> such as they are. Boy, these are, these are really torn up, huh? I don't really like walking directly into the sun. It's harder to see. This game, um, I don't think that we need to worry about our food or thirst in this game, right? I don't think we do. Been a long time since I played Fallout 4. I don't think we need to worry about sleep either. Tell you what, though. Um, a little bit worried about weapons. Um, don't remember where my uh, weapon wheel is. Yeah, I don't know, but I think I've got, I've got this thing with 28 bullets. I guess it's really it, and then I've got this stupid knife. I think that's all I've got. But, um, yeah, I have to figure out what key I have that lets me favorite things. Tactical, automatic, I mean, I know I could go here look at it from here, but I thought that there was another button that, whoops, let me look at it from this screen as well, but maybe not. What in the world? A leechling? Oh, something coming from my left. Oh, there's a lot of things. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Okay. We got three leechlings here to deal with. They don't look very ling to me. When I th hear leechling, I think of something small, like a baby one. These do not look like babies. Well, <laughs> that's weird. It, it has leeches and a baby rattle on it. Okay, I think we got it. We didn't take too much damage. Leeches and an, uh, what? What do I want leeches for? Leeches. I get ant acid and antiseptic from that. Right now, I'm. I think I'm just gonna pick stuff up, and then determine whether I need it later. I do not like that knife. That little flippity flip things that thing it does. It's that's annoying. I find it annoying. Uh, I killed three leechlings. Where's the... Oh, I killed one over here. Okay, here's the other one. Okay. Hey, you know what? Ha ha ha, F5. Ha ha. Screw you, Fallout 76. I can F5 in this game. I want to explore everything, but I also feel incredibly weak. So I hesitate to just go looking everywhere. I do not like that those leeches kind of took me by surprise. I'm going to try to stay alive as long as I can. 
It's like my first death in a game is always like breaking a seal. After I die the first time, I stop caring so much. So I'm going to just every now and now and again, look around with my vats and uh, see if anything shows up. I could probably eat some food and get a little bit of health here, maybe. Let's eat some beef dog food. Get some rads, but we'll, we'll take care of those. I feel like I'm going to get ambushed. I was hoping I could open up the back of that ambulance and maybe get some health items. Whoa, what was that? I guess that was my beef dog food wearing off, maybe. I do not like the lighting here at all. Oh, crap, Feral Ghoul. We do not want to mess with the Feral Ghoul, I don't think. If we can help it. So we're going in this direction. I'm going to steer, steer clear of those Feral Ghouls. A rad roach. I can handle a rad roach. Detected. Maybe by the rad roach. I'm not sure. Yeah. I think he took a slight bite out of me. Oh, another one. Another one. Yeah. Oh, it was small. Oh, wild mute fruit. I guess I want to harvest that. Can I get it through this? Is this a door? Uh, I can't, uh, can't interact with it. Oh, there's a body here. But I can't interact with it. I can't loot it. That's a shame. That's a little disappointing, actually. Toothpaste and a wrench. Now, who needs a toothbrush when you've got a wrench? Jack tar? Oh, I don't know what a jack tar is. What is a jack tar? Does this thing have... Doesn't really have sights on it. I mean, I kind of want to save my bullets, you know, for as long as possible. For, the, like, the real dangerous creatures. Kind of giving me a... Just uh, gave me a kind of a flashback to Resident Evil. The original Resident Evil games. Bullets were in short supply. So you would try to ration those things, man. This music is... Really nice, nice ambient music. Really kind of sets a mood. I like it. I like it a lot. It's a neat looking car. Look at that thing. I'm sitting here looking at cars. I should be. Looking for things that can kill me. How far are we going? Oh, wow. Holy cow. We still have quite a ways to go, don't we? For some reason, I was thinking this place was right around the corner, but... Yeah, we have a, we have a bit of a ways to go. That's okay. It gives us an excuse to explore. out over there. Kind of intrigued. Okay, this place is making me nervous. What does this say? Restricted area. Unauthorized persons keep out. Why is it restricted? What is going on over there? Some kind of decorations, maybe? Holiday something? P 
parlay. What does that say? Parlay, it looks like. Huh. Is that the, a name of a section of town? Parlay. How are they powering this? Those lights look lit up. That neon sign looks like it has power. <sighs> looks like a freaking ambush. Whoa. Looks like um, skull and crossbones kind of up there, doesn't it? Pirates? Why would they so proudly display their flags? Well, where I'm going is in that direction. But I said I kind of wanted to stick to the roads. But it doesn't appear to be roads between here and there. Could um, maybe turn back to my right. This makes it look like there's a road in this direction, but... You know, I was going to say maybe I could go down this road and this way. Or maybe I'm just being silly and I should just walk there regardless of whether there's a road or not. But where is this... Is this considered a road here? Maybe this is a road. Let's do this. Let's go this way. Huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Thought I heard something buzzing. Um, looks like, what, like a fallout shelter or something? Directly in front of us on the uh, compass there? Looks like some radioactive symbol. These sounds I'm hearing, I honestly don't know if they're part of the ambient music or whether there's something, some creature or something here that's making these sounds. But man, this looks like a great place to get tetanus. These rusty pipes. Trying to be smart and cautious here. And I'm going to hit F5 every now and again. Since we're not entering and exiting buildings. There's no auto-saving going on. And I don't really don't want to redo this stuff when I die. But I'm going to try to be cautious. Oh, detected by something. For just a second there, we were detected by something. But I don't see anything. A rad rabbit. Do I need to worry about a rad rabbit? Kill it for its meat. Where did the, where did the rad rabbit go? Okay, he's over there. But he could be a decoy. And he may leave me alone. He might not attack me. It looks like he's trying to get in that vehicle. <laughs> yeah, okay. Don't, don't, don't. Don't, don't do that. I don't like that. Go, go, go away. I don't like it. Looks like he's trying to get away. All right, live and let live. You don't attack me, I don't attack you, buddy. Got an agreement? Being super cautious. Once I get more powerful, I get some armor, something I really don't have, get more weapons, more ammo, I'll detect it. I mean, it could just be the Rad Rabbit. But yeah, once, I, once I'm beefed up more, we'll definitely explore more freely. But right now... Caution is job one. 
Let's take a look at the map again. Okay, we're gonna continue up this way. And go to our left. To get to the Swan and Mite or whatever that is. Is this place is like a looks like there might even be a wall around it tunnel something let's say tunnel cough quarantine oh my oh my detected again by a rad rabbit that's one rad rabbit quarantine tunnel cough Interesting. That's... Stop. All military vehicles stop. Authorized vehicles only behind this point, or beyond this point, border ahead. It's chained. Can't even get in there. That's kind of neat. Feels very Last of Us. I kind of want to kill the Rad Rabbits so that I'm not... You know, I don't get false detections, but we'll leave him be. So we're going to head this way now. Rad stack dough. Again. Essentially, the rad rabbit shows up as red, as if it is an enemy. The 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 rad stack doe, um, did not show up as an enemy. Hello. Can you imagine though? I mean, I've seen that before because I've played Fallout games, but this guy has been in a lab and he sees that walking by. That's pretty freaky. I don't even know what this guy's seen. Maybe he's never even seen a tree and he's freaking out at seeing a tree. Okay, so far so good. This is my guy. This is how I'm walking around like this. <laughs> Nobody's going to see me when I walk like that. But I'm just being careful, man. I oftentimes talk about the, um, like, imagining putting yourself in this situation, like in real life. You are in this post apocalyptic hell space. Hellscape? Oh. Oh, crap. Um, I don't need to be getting into fights if I can avoid it. Oh, crap. Can I hide behind this tree? Will they find me? But yeah, I mean, this is you. This is real life. You're really out here. You're going to be careful, man. I mean, I would be. It's just walking up to people. I wonder what's in this building. Nah, man. You're going to be super, super, super careful. So that's what I'm doing here. Trying to be super careful. You don't know whether people are going to be hostile or not. Uh, I got the impression that those people were not going to be friendly. Could be wrong. But I don't think they were going to be friendly. So we're going to crouch our way through these bushes here. Machine gun turret. Oh, crap. I gotta be careful of that. Brooks Retail Supplies, I believe that says. I very, feel very exposed now. 
I mean, more and more, I'm feeling like I really, really, really want to get to the Swan and Mitre. Just because hopefully it's a safe place. And those vagabond dudes, I don't know whether they're good guys or not, but they're willing to take me in and they're like, hey, we'll watch your back if you watch our back. And I'm okay with that right now. You know? For now, we'll, we'll decide later whether they're good or bad. Volzon? <laughs> Do you see that? Oh my gosh, Volzon. That's great. That's great. Let's see where we are now on the map. Okay. Should see it soon. The old swan and mitre. I mean, a mitre is something like religious. I mean, they show the, the swan putting on like a, a pope hat or something. Come on, don't make me a liar. So a mitre, something the Pope uses, I think, but I don't remember what it is. I don't know why the place would be called Swan and Mitre. That's something, some creatures look like horses walking around over there. Oh, 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 I can unlock advanced now. Nice. Anything good? Got a crate here. Shotgun shells, rounds, rounds, a gun, some armor, a pipe, money. I don't think I need the sweater vest and slacks. Oh no. Oh dude. Hey, we got some really, really, really good stuff out of that. Let's take a moment here. Uh, apparel. We could put on leather left arm. I mean, it's it's something. Weapons. We have three of these tactical automatic crude guns. I don't remember if this game has like conditions or deterioration. Deterioration? I don't remember if it does or not. I'm gonna assume it doesn't. I don't see anything over here about condition. And they're all the same. So we have three of these guns now. But now we have 48 bullets for it. So that's nice. That's real nice. So that was... Uh, oh, it just did an autosave. Interesting. Okay. So that's really, really good. That uh, I, I feel extra confident that that upgrade we did, that perk we picked up a while back was the right one. The one that allows us to unlock advanced locks. Got some good stuff there. Uh oh. Detected danger. Oh! Nice flanking. Caution still. It's right up the hill here. Where are you? Where'd you go? Asleep near? Not showing us hostile. Oh, you mother. Nicely done, sir. Bravo. Kudos to you for attacking when I was distracted. That was some all quiet on the western front stuff right there. And you're enjoying the scenery, and boom, a bullet to the head. Listen to this music. Where did they get this music from? Big engine there. I'm, I'm, I'm running faster now because I'm getting closer, and this is when I'm going to run into problems because I'm not being as cautious, cautious as I should be. Got some birds flying around. They don't show up on vats, so we don't need to worry about them. Oh, jeez. Syndicate pup. 
Oh. Vagabond recruits. Whose side are we on? The syndicate pup thing made me think of, um... Isle of Dogs that they were talking about before. Oh, they're still shooting. This guy's just standing here. More bodies getting shot don't never hurt anything. Sebastian, what's going on behind you over there? Get ready, guys. Sebastian, shouldn't you be worried about what's going on behind you over there? You never should have come here. Sebastian. The one helping out. Good to see ain't everybody out to get us. It's a good day to get things done. Okay. You're right. We used to be something, but now a new face. You sticking around? He has a lot to say. We won't fall to the likes of the dogs or anyone else. Okay. You're the one helping out. Okay. Good to see ain't everybody out to get us. Oh, oh, there's there are enemies there. Defend the swan and mitre. Uh, I mean, I would rather them do it. I mean, I'll act like I'm going to help, but I don't want to use my ammo here. Defend the swan and mitre. Do I need to go in? Oh, gosh, maybe I need to go in. Let's go in. Maybe there's a battle raging inside of here. Okay, I said open. Touch me again. No oh. consequences. Well, don't stand so close. Okay, there we go. We're in now. A little, a little janky there. Looks like I found Come on, sneaky rock. Oh my! Somebody <laughs> 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 Pull out. Get out of there. I killed one of them. Talk to a vet. I killed one of them, and I didn't have to use any bullets, and he didn't hurt me at all. Nice. Sebastian, what's up, buddy? We used to be something, but now... We used to be something. It's dark in here. Man, they let the syndicates in here? Tickets, rounds, pistol. Uh, toy car. I'll, I'll let him keep the suit. Bangers and mash. Tato, switchblade, aluminum cannon. Wouldn't let him keep the suit. Man, what are you drinking there, dude? Yeesh. Got like a two liter of Fago there or something. Ooh, this would be stealing. Interesting. Another body over here. Uh, this is not stealing. Dead bodies. Open season. Help yourself. Check this out. And again, another nice piece of music. Really, really nice. Really nice. Nicely done. I'm really impressed with the music. Music is a very is very important. Movies, games. Very important. Really sets a mood. And I feel like it's really setting a mood here. Fantastic. So all of this is stealing. Hey, what's up? to the likes of the dogs or anyone else you're right okay. uh let's see here now our quest still no text for our quest it just says talk to a vet it's really disappointing to me that there's no text other than just you know an action by the way it took a really long time for this interior to load that's one thing i've noticed is that the loading screens are quite long you've leveled up pick a new perk in the attaboy really Oh yeah, by the way, our thing is not called a Pip-Boy, it's called an Attaboy, apparently. I don't remember leveling up, but okay. Uh, here is the 50 gazillion things we can, uh, choose. Scrounger. Um... You might, you find more ammunition in containers, that might be useful. But later in the game, ammunition is probably gonna be like leaves on a tree, right? But right now, it's just hard to find. Fortune Finder. Uh, you find more tickets and containers. Do I care about that? Commando. Rigorous combat training means automatic weapons do 20% more damage. And this one, uh, automatic pistols do 20% more damage. I haven't really decided what I'm going to specialize in yet because I haven't seen the weapons available. I'd like to 
try out different weapons and decide which one I like the best before I go throwing perks at them. Science, um, let's see here. Access to base level and rank one high-tech mods. Scrapper, salvage uncommon components, hacker. Okay, that'll get us into terminals. It might be, that might be worth something too, right? Mods, stim packs give more help. Vans, let the angels guide you. The path to your closest quest target is displayed in vats. Weird. Oh, that's kind of fun. Troubadour, uh, persuading, ticket collector, buying and selling is cheaper. Long haul, being over encumbered no longer prevents you from fast traveling. Hmm, that's intriguing. But I don't know how much fast traveling I'm going to do, at least at the start of this game. We're going to walk, baby. Uh, chem resistant life giver. We instantly get more health. Lead belly. That's always a good thing to have. Toughness. I mean, there's so many things, right? Night vision. Demolition expert. Awareness. Specific damage resistances and vats. Kind of cool. Another specialty. Non-automatic rifles. Pickpocket we could steal from people. So much stuff. What are you? A part pack mule? Gain plus 25 to carry weight. I mean, that's tempting. That is a tempting one to get. Because I am always carrying crap around. But for now... I feel like... Looks like I can't get to the next level of... Um... Whatever the level is that let me get into the the locks. Locksmith 2, yeah. I need to be level 7 before I get to that. Wow, we're only level 3, so it's going to be a long time before we get to the next level. I'm going to go ahead... We haven't seen any terminals yet, but when I see a terminal, I'm going to want to read it. So we're going to get Hacker. Pretty typical for me to do this in these games. I like to get to hidden places. All right, let's um, let's go talk to Yvette. Do There's a terminal right there. You better. That cracks me up. You bump into people and they don't like it. That's really interesting. Hello, Yvette. How are you? Hey, you that fresh face Gaunt mentioned? Uh, what's it to you? Yeah, I guess that's me. Or I have a name, you know. I mean, I guess that's me. Good. Listen up. We got hit hard just there, but we managed to kill or capture every attacker except one. I noticed to scout and back and leg it when things swung our way. If they bring him back up from the Isle of Dogs, we could be toast. Oh. I need you to stop them. They look to be beelining for the comm station north of here. I've got someone to trip the power on it remotely, but that'll only hold them so long. Go snuff out the hornet before it brings back the nest. The scout was a young lass. Denim fatigue, spiky hair. Should be easy to spot. Now go. If you need medical attention, I can take a look at you. But I can't do miracles. And wipe those questions off your tongue. We've got no time for that. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty good. Kill Skin Syndicate Scout. Well, let's pretend like this is really, you know, we need to rush over there real quick. Normally, I would just be like, meh, we'll get to that quest whenever I feel like it. But no, let's play the game, man. We got to go get that hornet before it brings back its nest. I like the way she put that. And then, you know, I keep talking about the music and how good the music is. I mean, I thought that that um, the writing was pretty decent right there. I, I kind of liked the way it was worded and and it makes sense. Somebody got away. They saw somebody leg it. We got to go stop them before they bring back more people here now that they know where the vagabonds are hanging out. And um, I thought that the voice acting was pretty good, too. I wonder where they got the voice actors from. So you can see now I'm, I'm blabbing, I'm talking, I'm trying to fill the space because I wanted you to see how long these loading screens are. They're very long. I don't know if that's, I mean, I, I don't, I don't think Fallout 4 itself has loading screens this long. So it's got to be something with the mod. So we made our way outside. It says indeed, kill syndicate scouts. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna leg it. We need to go through here, maybe. Oh my! How do I get over there? Oh, we're gonna let's go through this wall here, maybe. 
try this, so... Can't afford to be cautious, we just need to run. Doesn't mean I'm not... still nervous. Apparently we're looking for some woman with spiky hair. Dom's Cafe. Oh, we're in. Okay. Something walking around over there. A mangy fox. <laughs> My relative. Into Dom's Cafe we go. All right, that one didn't take long to load. Let's be hidden. I don't want to turn on my light because I don't want to give away my location. I want to see if I could sneak up on him. The funny thing is, is that we are just like all in these with these vagabonds, right? I mean, what if what if the vagabonds vagabonds are the bad guys and the syndicates the good guys? Where am I going? How do I get there? Maybe through this door. Inaccessible. What the hell, man? How do I get to where this person is? We'll harvest that. Doesn't appear to be an upstairs. Listen to this music. This is great. Did I just not see this door or something? What the hell? I love dogs scout. I could pickpocket them. Do I want to talk to them? They're showing up as an enemy, though. So I don't think they're going to talk to me. Why is she just sitting here? That's bizarre. Why is she just sitting there? Let's see if she sees my light. I'm curious. Nope, she doesn't care. She knows I'm here. Talk. Okay. Talk. Oi. What do you want? Oh, she's at the ham radio. Uh, okay. Uh, strength. I'm with a vagabond. Surrender or die or your life. Hey, I'm with a vagabond. Surrender or die. Shit. I, I don't want to die. Please, don't hurt me. I only joined the syndicate last week. I was just in it for the money. I never wanted to see no blood. Hmm. Please, please let me live. I promise I'll leave this gang shit behind. All right, Scram. Sorry I have my orders. Your life ends here. Or you really expect mercy in this world, you fool. Well, here's where we do some character building. We don't know anything at all about my character other than he was, like, grown in a vat. Does he have morals? Does he care? Well, I do. I like to try to play as a good guy. And like I was just talking about on our walk over here, am I on the good side? I don't even know. Uh, maybe the Vagabonds are the bad guys and the Isle of Dogs people are the good guys. I don't know. I, I'm i going to let her go, man. I, I, I was actually hoping I would be able to let her go. I was actually hoping we would be able to get more information out of her. Um, But that's not going to happen. Yeah, I mean, I'm not like blindly going to follow orders from those people. I barely know them myself. I just met them like an hour ago, <laughs> right? Um, Yeah, scram. Legend. Legend. There she goes. So yeah, that's why she came here. I didn't I don't think I realized that the reason she came here was to get on the ham radio and then tell everybody about us. 
Let's uh, take a moment to uh, do some looting here. Um, part of the problem is, is that I don't remember how things work in Fallout 4. I don't remember... I mean, I guess that just like in Fallout 76, which is what I've been playing more recently, is that there's going to be benches where I can disassemble this stuff into its components. Um, I haven't found that yet. So I'm going to continue to pick stuff up. But I mean, do I want to pick everything up? I do want to... Oh, these are just cans. But you know... Normally, you want cans to, you know, get the aluminum from them. Yeah, I really would like to find a place to break stuff down. Look, even a makeshift battery has good stuff in it, but it's heavy. Let's see where we are inventory-wise. Holy moly! We can carry a lot of stuff. We are very strong. So now our quest says, it just says, return to Yvette. I wonder what we're going to be able to tell Yvette. Are we going to say, yeah, she's dead? You know, I hope that we could, I wouldn't mind lying to Yvette. I don't care. Just tell her that she got away. A lot of things. We'll see what options we have. Interesting to me that they have this inaccessible door over here. Maybe it's not interesting at all. These enamel buckets, for some reason, I feel like there's always something in them that I want. I don't know what, though. Well, maybe there's a bench back at the Swan and Miter that we could use. I hope so. I'd like to start scrapping stuff. And I also don't remember where, like, you store stuff and... Fallout 4, I guess there's just another stash box, just like in Fallout 76. I think that's the case. I think there's a stash box that is shared between your, um, oh gosh, what are they called? They're not called outposts. Your bases. What are they called? Settlements. Settlements, yes. Now this will probably take a while to load because we're going back onto London. That did indeed take a long time to load. If I remembered to cut it out, it didn't take a long time for you guys. Well, let's head back to the Swan and Miter. We didn't run into too much trouble on our way over here. That's a doe sitting there. What is this thing? Nuke your... Thirst. Oh, okay. So I guess this is like a Nuka Cola machine, kinda. Don't really know why I can't interact with it. I'm not sure if this is what's making that Geiger counter kind of sound or not. But we're gonna walk on by here. Who dis? I want me to be a farmer, but I get my hands dirty in other ways. A vagabond recruit. If I'm watching you, at least two others are doing the same. Don't try nothing. Oh, you're so badass. Careful where you tread, or you'll give me a reason to have fun. Oh, uh, okay. What is in the way here? Weird. Swan and Miter, let's go in. All right, Yvette. She's got like a, got like a little French hat on, and her name's French too, right? Um, what's she wearing? If you is that her? Lunch, wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. Uh huh. Is that her skin right there? I can't quite tell. Oh, oh, don't, don't leave. What's she got on her little? 
just a little uh, sassy red tote. Oh, where you're going? Got a ghoul. Hey, a vet. Vet them. Um, it's sorted. I'll just say that. It's sorted. It's a very British thing to say. Good. You seem efficient. I like that. Gaunt said to give you some tickets for your troubles. Oh. Yeah. Hundred tickets. Holy cow. Uh, charisma two of five. Thanks or tickets. What are these? What are these things? Huh. You're really not from these ends, are you? Tube tickets, money, dosh, moolah. What we use for trade round here. It's the standard currency all over London. Over here is the Swan and Mitre, the most ancient pub in the whole of London. Us vagabonds have had our home here for decades. Even through the toughest times. We have some other safe houses, but let's keep them ash for now. Follow me and I'll get you acquainted with our chiefs. It's not just the loss of men. We're hurting for ammo and other supplies. They keep hitting us like this, and they'll win for attrition. Fucking dogs. We should hit them back, right this minute. Easy now. Something stupid like that is exactly what they want to provoke. We've got to keep our heads. Sorry to interrupt, chaps. I brought that newcomer along. I've got no time for the detritus right now. Nelson, find something useful for this one to do. The rest of you, scrub! I need to go think. Never mind what Gaunt says, sweetie. He's a hard one, but he's been through a lot, and he bears a lot on his shoulders. He's got a big heart, really. Huh. Uh, understood. What do you mean he's been through a lot, or so he's the leader here? So, is he the leader here? Has been ever since both his parents died. Poor lad. He's a good boss. He cares a lot for all of us. He just don't always show it so well. Okay. I like the music, but I would like for it to, like, be a little lower level when we're talking to people. Or maybe just have their voices be higher. Maybe I could fix that. Uh, you mentioned he's been through a lot. What do you mean by that? The Isle of Dogs Syndicate has hurt us all in different ways. Some have scars you can see. Some have scars you don't see. Hope was hurt deep. Oh. Okay, I guess I understand. I've got to go now. But stick around, sweetie. We're good people when you get to know us. Oi, newcomer. I think I still hear you breathing over there. Come over here and we'll have a gob. <clears throat> we'll have a gob with old Nelson, but we'll do that in the next episode as it's time for me to end this one. I'm kind of digging this, man. This is pretty good. This is this is actually better than I thought it was going to be. It feels um, well polished and, and well put together, except for the crashes. It's too bad about the crashes. But... Um, I, otherwise, I'm really digging it. I hope you're digging it, too. If you are, why don't you let me know? You could do that by leaving me a like or a comment. Thanks for joining me on this episode. I sure hope you join me again in the next one.